Hello, welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in the global connectivity, real estate, and uh, industries and the networks within them. Um, so I'm joined today by a couple of leaders, associate directors from WSP. We've got Josh Sykes here and we've got Anna Trouble here. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. So we're going to have a fun conversation uh, today. And of course, I'm, I'm Candace Ipos with JSA. So uh, WSP, a uh, data uh, professional um, services leader, reimagining the future of uh, data center sustainability. We're really excited to chat with them about sustainability today. Um, so first of all, let's set the stage a bit um, as the world's leading engineering and professional services firm. How does WSP support data center clients with sustainability goals? Anybody want to take that I'll, one? I'll take that one. <laughs> okay. So I, I think to a greater or lesser degree, our, our data center clients are grappling with the same challenges that we see in a lot of sectors. Um, and as a multidisciplinary consultancy, we, mm -hmm. we can really help across the full sustainability piece. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we have teams that will help on optimizing the design to be more sustainable for reducing embodied carbon or mm -hmm. driving down operational energy. But also experts in broader sustainability, whether it's biodiversity, ecology, water consumption, or, or social value. Uh, it's really a big topic, isn't it? Yeah, it um, is. Mm -hmm. uh, it is. And, you know, the thing which I can see, which is, you know, it's, it's, it's our, the main thing, it mm -hmm. is we're supporting our clients going on the journey with them mm -hmm. to, to help them to translate the ESG requirements to, to tangible targets. Yeah. And then bring them to life because, you know, till you don't know what you need to achieve or what you want to achieve, it's really difficult. Right. Yeah, those tangible targets are really important. And it, and it's so great that we're, we have a room full of people coming together to talk yeah. about things like that today and this week at the event. Um, so w let's jump into, and Josh, I'll kick this one over to you, um, the biggest challenge you're seeing within the mission critical industry when it comes to preparing for a net zero future. Sure. I've I think the biggest challenge that we all have to kind of accept and really own in the data center world is that we are big consumers of energy. Mm -hmm. um, that That's a reality that everyone has to accept and we have to do what we can to to minimize that impact um, mm -hmm. and not just be dumb consumers um, of energy. Yeah. So as, as designers, we can do as much as we can to to optimize the design and that's where Anna and her team will, will do everything they can to um, minimize energy use through optimizing mm -hmm. systems and driving efficiencies down. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's it's a challenge, and there's there's only so much we can do, and there's there's the local context, there's what the energy makeup of the local grid is, and the the carbon intensity associated with that. Mm. So there's all of these challenges, and more and more we're seeing that actually we we can move away from being dumb consumers. We mm. can do things that are positive in the community. Mm. Uh, we can play a role in helping support the grid rather than just consuming. Yeah. And I think that's that's been one of the really great things to see at this conference is that we're we, we are doing that, and we, mm. we'll be having a positive impact. But it, it's a challenge and it's something we've got to kind of work together to, to improve on. Yeah, I love that. Okay, awesome. Thank you. And Anna, we'll jump back over to you and kind of end on a lighter uh, or a positive note here, I should say. Um, so what's the biggest win um, that you're seeing in uh, data center sustainability right now? What, I, what we can see mm -hmm. is the industry mm -hmm. uh, is taking ownership mm -hmm. of the challenging to deliver sustainable data centers. Is uh, is start thinking about uh, bringing the you know it's bringing the opportunity to, to the innovation to data centers. Mm -hmm. You know, I can see that we, we we start thinking differently in the new way. We work differently. Mm -hmm. We we do operate differently. It mm -hmm. all has a huge impact. And the most important is we moving away from traditional model, mm -hmm. which which is I really believe a big way. Uh, sustainability for us is front and center of everything what we do. It's mm. a huge change, and you know, and the success and it's part of the success. Isn't it's mm. the integral part of the success of the project. Yeah, which is which is big, it's, big it's, it's, it's not an afterthought. Mm -hmm. It's you know, definitely not an afterthought. Yeah, it's, absolutely, it's, it's, it's super early, mm. and the biggest the biggest change which I can see and which I, which I'm hoping for is you know we do all we do all are using more and more data in mm -hmm. our in life and it's not gonna change yeah and and the opportunity is that we can deliver sustainable data centers mm -hmm. which will have broader opportunities and it will change it will change the narrative completely because 
data center will be, if there is the broader benefits there, yeah. it will be welcomed mm -hmm. in our communities because as a guest, not, yeah, it will be welcomed and we just, you know, we will look forward to have data center in years. Yeah. yeah. Which can be yeah, excellent. I love that. It's not an afterthought. Always on the forefront with WSP, the sustainability is. So this is the exact right conference for you all to have a presence at, it sounds like. And uh, and the the perfect place for you to get a message out, too, on JSA TV. So thank you yeah, so much for joining us. us. Yeah. And to our viewers, thank you for hanging out with us today on JSA TV. Happy networking.